Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss window object in JavaScript. The window object is the top level global object in client side JavaScript and it represents the browser's frame or window in which your web page is contained. Every web page resides inside a browser window which is considered as an object. This browser window is accessed using the window object. All the global variables and functions are properties of this window object. In fact, the global functions and variables are all created as properties of this global window object. For example, I will declare a global variable. I will give it a name variable x and I will assign it some value. This global variable x will become part of this global window object. You can use this global window object to access this variable x like this way. I will use alert statement or alert box to show you the result of window.x statement. I'll go ahead, I'll save this script. I'll refresh the page. As you can see, this global variable x becomes part of window object and it can be accessed using the global window object. Same goes for the global functions. I will declare a global function. I will give it a name function y and inside this global function I'll write a JavaScript statement. I'll use document.write method to display a message. I will say global function invoked using window object. Now I will use the global window object to invoke this function y like this way. I'll save this script again. I'll refresh the page. I will click on the OK. As you can see this function y is executed or invoked using the global window object. So all the global functions and variables are created as properties of global window object. The window object is a global object. You don't need to use its name to access its properties and methods. For example, the alert method. I have been using the alert method since the beginning of this course is in fact the method of window object. Although I have been using this simply as this. As I said, the alert is the method of window object. So you can call it using the window object like this way. I will go ahead, I'll save this script. I'll refresh the browser. As you can see, this is the first alert box which is invoked without the window object. And this is the second alert box which is invoked using the window object. However, since the window object is the global object, it is perfectly correct to use the first version, this one. The confirm and prompt are also methods of window object. You can use the window object like this way to invoke the confirm dialog box. Prompt is also a method of window object. I will comment out these two lines. I will go ahead, I'll save this script and I will show you the result of these two JavaScript statements. I'll save this script. I'll refresh the browser. As you can see, this is the confirm box which is invoked using the window object. And this is the prompt box which is invoked using the window object. So confirm and prompt are also methods of window object and you can invoke the confirm and the prompt method without the window object as I have been doing it in the previous videos. Now I will discuss some more properties and methods of this window object. I will create some space. I will comment out these two lines. If you want to get the width and height of browser window, you can get them using the window object. I will use document.write method to display the width and height. To get the width of a browser window, you use window object dot inner width property. This inner width property will return the width of browser window in pixels. I will copy these two lines 
and I will add it for the height. To get the height of browser window, you use window dot inner height property. This inner height property will return the height of browser window in pixels. I'll go ahead. I'll save this script. I'll refresh the browser. As you can see, the inner width property returns the width of this browser window in pixels and inner height property returns the inner height of this browser window. If you want to get the exact measurement for width and height, you can use the outer width and outer height property. Let me copy these lines. This time I will use outer width to get the outer width. The outer width includes scroll bar and toolbars. For that you use window dot outer width property and this include scroll bar and toolbars and the same go for the outer height property for that you use window dot outer height property this will return the height of browser window including the scroll bar and toolbars I'll go ahead, I'll save this script. I'll refresh this page. As you can see, the outer width returned the width of this browser window, including the scroll bar and toolbars. But this outer width property will return the exact width of this browser window. And the same goes for the outer height property. You can also set the name for a window using the name property. You use window.name property and you set or assign some name to a browser window. And to get the window name, you use window.name property and it will return the name for the window and a line break. I will go ahead, I'll save the script. I'll refresh the page. As you can see, it returns the name for this window. You can also use the close method of window object to close a window. For that, you use window.close method. This close method will close the window for you. I'll go ahead, I'll save this script. Now, as soon as I click on this refresh icon, this window will be closed. Did you see the window is closed? using the close method. I will comment out this line. You can also open a new window using the open method of window object. To open a new window, I will use window.open method. This will open a new window. I'll save this script. I'll open the index.html file again. As you can see, this script has opened a new window for you. I will close this new window. You can also pass some arguments to this open method. For example, if you want to open a window with some specified URL, you can pass the URL inside these parentheses. I will pass the Udemy URL. You can also specify the name for this window like uh, Udemy window. And you can also set the width and height for this window like this way. This statement will open a new window with this specified URL and the height and width of this window will be 150 by 150. I'll go ahead. I'll save this script. I'll refresh this page. As you can see, it has opened or created a new window with Udemy URL and the size of this window is 150 by 150. I will close this window. You can also resize this Udemy window using the resize to method. For that, I will assign this window to a variable. I'll say Udemy window. I'll use this variable. And now I'll resize this Udemy window. 
using this variable udemy window dot resize to and inside this parenthesis I'll specify uh, the width and height this time I'll specify the width as 250 and height also as 250 pixel this resize to method will resize this udemy window to these new dimensions I'll save this script I'll refresh as you can see this time it has opened a bigger window with 250 by 250 dimensions I will close this window you can also use the move to method to move a window I will move the Udemy window some to some certain coordinates I will use the Udemy window variable then move to method and inside this parenthesis I will specify the x and y coordinates like 350 for the x coordinate and 200 for the y coordinate this move to method will move this udemy window to these coordinates i'll save this script i'll refresh the browser as you can see the move to method has already moved the udemy window to a specified coordinates i will close this window some of the properties of window object are themselves objects those objects include document object, screen object, navigator object, history object, and location object. These all objects are properties to the window object. I will discuss all of these important objects individually in the coming lectures. So in this video, I covered window object and some of its properties.